Hello and welcome to episode number 83 of Super Kali Funny Listic. My name is Christian Rauchenwald and today we're going to talk about if and at which point you should consider promoting ClickFunnels as an affiliate over promoting or creating your own product or funnel. Before we get to that, as always, a quick welcome for to everybody who tunes in for the first time to one of my episodes. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you take anything valuable from this video, hit the thumbs up button on YouTube. And well, if you're listening to this as a podcast, then just like make sure that you subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss out any future episodes. That said, let's talk about ClickFunnels affiliate program. So far, ClickFunnels really offers like one of the best affiliate programs I've ever seen, mainly because they don't only pay you like amazing one-time commissions for certain purchases. Like for example, they actually pay you a hundred percent commission on one funnel away challenge signups, which means you get a hundred dollars for every person that signs up for a challenge that costs a hundred dollars plus shipping. And while well, you don't get something from the upsells in case somebody buys it, but still you get a hundred dollars for every person that signs up. Um, where can you make a hundred dollars commission that easily without having to sell a thousand dollar product? So, um, that's like one of the one of the great products but on top of that they also pay 40 percent recurring monthly commission as long as the client keeps using their ClickFunnels account which means depending on the account you get somewhere between like roughly four dollars for the hardly ever used 19 dollar plan roughly 40 dollars for the 197 dollar plan and roughly 120 dollars for the 300 dollar plan now consider getting 10 people to sign up on the on the 97 dollar plan which is the most common option will bring you close to $400 every month as long as they keep using their ClickFunnels account. Meaning as long as they run their funnels or even if they use ClickFunnels only to host their website, well, as long as they're willing to pay $97 for having a website, you will get your $40 every month, which really, really is a great option. And I can see usually during the One Funnel Away Challenge, um, when it gets to the point where people have to come up with their own product or offer, they kind of struggle and then some of them just fall back and say they want to promote ClickFunnels. And while it's a great idea to promote ClickFunnels, there is a huge difference in running or building um, income from affiliate marketing and building your own product. The biggest difference is when you are start to promote ClickFunnels, you are actually competing. You're in a huge red ocean with a lot of other affiliates that are promoting ClickFunnels, like me, for instance. So it means like you need to create better offers, find better ways to reach the, your target audience and stuff like that. And also, um, because you do not control the card, you usually will only have a bridge page that kind of like prepares your audience for what they get to see. You need to make sure that you target people that are already willing to buy. Well, if you if you bring people to something, um, to one of the free offers, for example, like the free 30 day series or the affiliate bootcamp where they have to enter their email address, they will be sticky cookie to you and ClickFunnels will retarget them with their own money and if the customer then signs up before clicking on any other affiliate link along the way um, you will still get the commission for whatever it is he purchases or signs up for but the the bigger problem is like um, this can take weeks yeah this can take even longer because like uh, maybe the customer or the the, the, the the visitor doesn't know you, he doesn't know ClickFunnels, he doesn't know anything. So while he may sign up for the 30 days or for the affiliate bootcamp, who's to say that he actually consumes the content unless you like uh, reach out to him, which you cannot do because you don't know his email address unless you captured it on your bridge page. Um, and who's to say when they are going to finally sign up for the One Funnel Away Challenge or open their ClickFunnels account. So it really takes weeks plus you, you should never forget that ClickFunnels itself also has like a 30 days holding period to account for possible refunds or chargebacks. And then um, the payout is like every first and every 15th of the month, meaning you will have to wait up to six weeks till you receive your actual commission. And that's from the moment the person bought it, um, considering that it may take like a week or two before they actually buy a product after they've been like, after they learned about um, what possibilities ClickFunnels can bring them or brings them, um, you're, you're easily looking at two months before you see any of your money back. So if you run paid ads, you may need to make sure that you do that with money that you do not need back really quickly. Yeah? Um, it for sure works, but it's for sure harder because you're competing again with everybody else. And the, the biggest issue is like with, with your average bridge page funnel, um, you usually would want to target a warmer or hot audience 
um, and not a cold audience, meaning you want to target people that actually either know you or they know ClickFunnels or they know both and already showed some interest. So your, your conversion rates are better because again, um, even if you grab their email address and you send follow-up sequences, it only takes one affiliate ad in the meantime that they see um, what they click on to, to actually grant the purchase to somebody else. So it's really, 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 really like something that needs a lot of planning and testing to figure out how to do with paid ads. Um, done with organic traffic, it's obviously something different. If you set up blog posts, if you run a YouTube channel and you have the patience that you know it will take months before your blog posts rank on Google or your videos rank properly within the search results, unless you already have a huge following and that you then simply like uh, work for the for the long term aspect that the more videos and blog posts you have, the more daily clicks you will get from there to whatever it is you promote for click funnels. Um, it really it really is like harder than creating your own offer. And in terms of figuring out I see most people struggle because they cannot come up with an own offer. But in fact, it's not that hard. Because if you think about um, you just need to either you don't need to reinvent the wheel, you don't need to come up with something brand new, you just need to like take a product that already works and uh, create a better offer for it, or uh, create a follow up solution. So for example, a product that works would be an iPhone. So a follow up solution would be obviously an iPhone cover, a protective case, or a display protection glass or an insurance for the iPhone, yeah, where there for sure is like affiliate programs or something out there that allow you to sell the iPhone insurance. Um, obviously, that's also a red ocean already because there's like so many companies selling covers. But even there, while there is like cheap Chinese providers, there are actually company, companies like uh, Mouse or Moose or however it is pronounced, that still sell their covers for roughly $50 or something simply because they're so amazing. Yeah, uh, while others just like dump the price to $5. But in any case, you can think about creating an offer, figuring out maybe maybe like an all-in-one package for an iPhone, like starting with a free guide that's like 10 amazing tricks you didn't know about your iPhone X or XS Max or whatever, uh, or features that you didn't know. And then on the sales page, simply have like a cover, a display protection glass and an insurance. Um, because consider this thing here is like $2,000. So um, it's worth to have an insurance for it unless you have like Apple care that covers everything and it, yeah, it covers almost everything. So, but I assume that most people like me that have their iPhone want to have like some kind of protection for it if they spend that amount of money on it. So uh, that would be an, a product you could go for. The question would be what you put in in the upsell or something. Um, it could be like grab a second glass or something, a protective glass or a second cover with a discount. Um, in case your first one like is damaged or like get a second color, you know, like Moose, for example, has like that carbon fiber optic. They also have a wooden optic and some other stuff. So it could be the upsell is then like uh, pick a second design with a discount. Yeah. Or for those who take pictures, there are also like additional lenses that you can get for your iPhone that will really like um, empower your camera even more. And so you could look like where to get those lenses and also then like make that as an upsell, you know, because the whatever you could say like because the iPhone X camera is like the best on an iPhone so far um, but it's still behind like your average like digital or SLR camera um, but you can step it up a little uh, a level or something like that by buying those lenses yeah so suddenly you would have your own offer and you know the point is while it's crucial at some point to think about building up your passive inc income where ClickFunnels recurring commissions is a great way to do that um, if you don't have the money to start buying apartments in real estate and and you know like get rent as passive income and stuff like that or other ways to generate passive income it's really a great way because you can start with zero money all you need to sacrifice then is time to promote it and figure out how to promote it but the benefit is like almost every offer you can think of, almost every one of your own products that you can think of actually will allow you to promote ClickFunnels as you go. And another thing that I saw most people missed with, with like ClickFunnels or within the One Funnel Away Challenge is they missed the part that it's actually about building a value ladder. And it's something I missed as well. So it's I'm, I'm not judging everybody here. I'm, I'm basically like just telling you what the mistake I made and I see a lot of people doing as well. Because the One Funnel Away Funnel Challenge is not to, there to show you how to build a funnel that will make you a ton of money. It's there to build like the first step of your value ladder, something that's like cheap and affordable for your audience that kind of like gets them to know you, um, that, that 
gives you their email address and the, the main goal of that funnel is that you spend one dollar on advertising and you make one dollar back so you don't make profit if you make profit it's even better but the goal is like basically to create a machine that collects email addresses for free um, because people buy and you pay for the ads with it and if, if you have a profit actually you you scale up your ads with that profit yeah so to get even more email addresses and then you need to think about the second step of your value level like what's your next funnel what's the thing that's going to be a little bit more expensive provide more value and build on top of what you just sold it's going to be a little tricky with the iphone example i admit that because it would be an e-commerce funnel and you would need to think about um, what would be next but there at least you could every year like make another funnel which is then for the next iPhone model and obviously like the iPhone gets more expensive your cover and lenses set and insurance set could also get more expensive it's for sure not the, the perfect approach but it would be an approach everybody who bought the covers for you for uh, from you for the iPhone XS Max for example um, would most likely if the quality is great and his iPhone survived when you send them next year like a link to like you know did you do you already have the new iPhone you can then promote like affiliate links where you can get the iPhone maybe at a, at a good rate and you can then obviously um, sell your new covers and protective glasses and insurance and lenses and all that stuff yeah um, again to them so and the second upsell by the way could be a case for the lenses if it's not already included or something like this yeah so so but with this example it's a little harder but let's take in another example it's totally has nothing to do with computers it would be if you are in some kind of business where it's either a multi-level marketing or yeah like actually i talked to somebody who is in a multi-level marketing and she's gonna promote some kind of or she wants to promote some kind of shake um in her initial funnel like for weight loss and stuff like that um actually now she she she, she, she switched to promote uh, another cheaper product so more people are going to buy because if it's even if they don't know you if it's like a $17 product they're more likely to say well let's try it's just $17 than if it's like $47 yeah so but let's let's stay with the shake example which in that case would be then either an upsell from from her uh, aloe vera funnel uh, or a second funnel like the second step of the value ladder and there the idea would be like first she promotes or makes that e-commerce funnel selling that shake so people feel good and the second funnel would then be how would you like it to get 25 percent discount on your shakes meaning that would be where she signs them up for the multi-level marketing so they become distributors and get the discount and everybody who, who likes that shake and sees uh, get some benefit from it in terms of weight loss or something will sign up not because of the business opportunity but simply because um they get a discount of 25 percent and then the email campaign could like show them examples how they can even make profit by you know if you find three people three of your friends and and show them the benefits of the shake your shakes will be for free um and stuff like that and if you find four you suddenly even make money yeah and the next funnel after that and that's the the magic trick the next funnel after that could basically simply be um a funnel that's like uh and how do you want to, something like do you want to know how I turned my e-com business selling shakes into a full-time passive income on autopilot. And that's then the funnel where she can promote the one funnel away challenge and the ClickFunnels account. And suddenly the people that ascend to her value letter from buying aloe vera or, or instantly that shake, consuming that shake and being like happy by, by drinking it and deciding to like, yeah, 125% discount, becoming distributors in the multi-level marketing, some people not many but some of them will automatically see the potential and start like running around and convincing people like the the old-fashioned way of multi-level marketing to sign up um or to to buy from them so they already make a profit but most people will not so and the next funnel is like to show them like your results like how much money you made with the first two funnels on autopilot because you just run ads to your first funnel and the rest is basically you set it up once and it keeps running for you and working for you and um, how to use click funnels for that and suddenly you will have like again like like same with russell like, there, there may be tens of thousands of people signing up for the affiliate bootcamp or the free 30 day series and only a part of those will sign up for the one funnel away challenge only a part of those will actually open their click funnels account and so on and only a part of those will go to funny funnel hacking live so so as you proceed with your value ladder things get more expensive yeah um and also provide more value that's why it's called value letter um but also the amount of buyers get smaller simply because either people don't understand the value because you're not marketing it right or because they cannot afford it simple as that but from from that initial group of people that bought the aloe vera or the shake uh some people will not like the shake or some some other reason to not continue ordering it but those who continue ordering it like i would say like 80 percent for sure will like 
take advantage of the safe 25% offer to sign up as their own distributor. So instead of ordering from you, they order directly from the multi-level marketing. Yeah. And, and from those, another certain percentage will see the income potential. If you, if you like show your backstory, right, use the Epiphany Bridge script, how uh, starting that multi-level marketing and putting it on autopilot really transformed your life and stuff like that. And some of them will then simply follow you and go to the one funnel away challenge. You'll get a hundred dollars for basically just bringing them there. And then again, go to um, open the ClickFunnels account. And the pretty, pretty thing is you, you have like a unique um, offer because you can offer all of them when they sign up for the one funnel away challenge and open the account for you that you basically give them your funnels, like your e-commerce funnel, your, your uh, get your discount, like your MLM onboarding funnel and your, ClickFunnels promotion funnel for free. Um, obviously they, they have to update the text so that it reflects, so that it's about them. And you can create another course that you either throw in for free or you don't throw in for free that you say like uh, MLM paid marketing or paid traffic mastery or something. And you create a course showing how you set up your advertising to drive actually successful or to successfully drive traffic to that initial funnel so to, so that you achieved like $1 in, $1 out, or $1.20 out or something like that, yeah? And suddenly you have a whole machine on autopilot that will uh, make you your own money. You will not have to wait like six to eight weeks for your money because you control the card, meaning when people order and they pay with PayPal or Stripe, it's on your account within a matter of days. And um, it's your audience, like you decide what and how you promote. You have better pixel data because you can actually make a difference between people who just opted in and people who bought something or went to a certain funnel step, meaning your follow-up emails will be more accurate, like more tailored, laser targeted to the people's behavior. Also your retargeting ads could be, or should be like, you know, when somebody just visits the squeeze page and don't get his like 10 amazing secrets you don't know about aloe vera or something like that um, book, you can show them a different retargeting ad than when somebody opted in, but didn't go from the sales page to the order page. Yeah. So your results will simply be better and you will not compete with every other ClickFunnels affiliate out there. And at the point where you've built those first funnels, yeah, you will simply have the result uh, or, or the possibility to suddenly promote ClickFunnels to people who already follow you, they trust you, they constantly buy from you, they're happy for the opportunity that you showed them. And um, yeah, like they, they will not go out there and oh, who has the best bonuses because they already know that what you do works and that you will allow them to model it or almost copy it one-to-one -one if they sign up through you and suddenly you build a huge passive income on top of the passive income from your multi-level marketing. So now while this video already is longer as, as it should be, it's really a very crucial topic. So I'm gonna take a second example. I talked with somebody else who basically um, wasn't sure which offer he should create and it was like one of the options was like something in the fishing area. Yeah. So we also talked because he was also like, yeah, maybe I should promote ClickFunnels. And we simply talked, well, um, in the end, he, he came up with, with the idea to make like uh, uh, on the squeeze page something along like some, let's call it some fishing tips. I don't want to give away too much. Yeah. And then sell some fishing supplies and kind of like probably even in a subscription model, um, probably sell like one box of those recurring supplies like on the sales page, but as an upsell offer it as a subscription model and um, yeah, stuff like that. And then his next funnel could be because he's uh, from, from Idaho. So his next funnel could simply be that he only targets people within the US. So he could email all of his people, doesn't really matter, and offers like a fishing trip to them, similar to what like um, Warren Smiley, I think it's Warren Smiley uh, who did that, who was promoting click, uh, Bigfoot hunts, yeah, and made some money with that with funnels. Uh, so he could promote like those hidden locations where you find like maybe maybe there are some rare fish in Idaho that you can catch. I don't know. Yeah, but his next funnel could basically promote that opportunity. Well, and his third funnel could be how I turned my fishing hobby into my full time income without actually working more than that amount of hours, blah, blah, blah. Uh, how I'm getting paid for going fishing with friends, yeah? um, stuff like that. And he could again do the same thing, offer because he's not selling his product, but it will be something probably from AliExpress, yeah, um, or from any other supplier, doesn't matter. So he can then basically, again, like offer people sign up for the OFA, open your ClickFunnels account, and you will A, get the training program that teaches you everything, B, you will get to copy all of my funnels, you just have to update them with your numbers. And the beauty of it is when, when people, when you see people copying, copying ClickFunnels affiliate funnels, 
they usually run into the problem that they have income claims on that. If I were to give you my ClickFunnels funnel, it would maybe make it wouldn't at the moment it wouldn't say like how I made a thousand dollars in passive income or something. It would say like how I built my passive income within that amount of days because my number is not that that impressive yet. Yeah, but let's say we take Doug Borton and and he shares a funnel with you that says how I earned nineteen thousand dollars in half a year by without the product. Yeah. And you use that funnel, you, you would have to update it and say like how Doug Borton earned because you didn't do it. Yeah. Now the beauty when you promote your own product is you actually have to get your first funnel working and you have to get your second value letter step working and you will have revenue there. You will have like maybe, maybe the first funnel again may not make you profit, but you will have revenue there. And if you, if you theoretically spend a million on ads on Facebook and you make a million back, you have zero profit, but you can still say how I made a million in revenue within that amount of time um, um, on autopilot or by my ho uh, with my hobby or with two hours per week or something like that. Yeah. Or how I made in a million in revenue within this amount of time um, by uh, f after or from this 30 day training. Yeah. And then people will obviously be more inclined to sign up for the One Funnel Away Challenge if you throw in some bonuses, like you show, throw in some videos that explain how you did it, or throw in some funnels that, that actually you are using to do it. And you suddenly stand out from all the people. Well, if you sign up, like even you stand even out from me, like what are we offering? We are offering like uh, a lot of guidance, like a lot of written guides and video summaries for the One Funnel Away Challenge for every day. We offer to that you can copy my homepage funnel, my bridge page funnel and other stuff. Yeah. And uh, we offer some other stuff. I, I don't even remember right now. But the point is the moment you have some results to show for that you actually made money with ClickFunnels outside of promoting ClickFunnels. And then you start promoting ClickFunnels as one step of your value ladder. Well, suddenly people have a reason to sign up with you because you already have enough examples and you have numbers to prove it, that it works and that you can show them how it works. Yeah. And you have an audience to promote it to. And for everybody who doesn't take advantage of that offer, well, you just think about the next step of your value ladder. Like what can you promote them again? That's in the fishing area or in the shake industry area. Yeah. Like. It's really important to, to think about your value letter. And in fact, when you promote ClickFunnels, you don't really have a value letter. Yeah, you can promote them to the free bootcamp and stuff, something, but from that point on, uh, ClickFunnels pretty much promotes their own value letter. And yes, you should promote it additionally, so they click constantly on your affiliate links for the one-time purchases as well. Um, but overall, you do not have a value letter in that case. You just have one affiliate bridge page and you spend time and energy and probably money on driving traffic to somebody other else's product. And the biggest disadvantage is simply the tracking that you cannot properly track like people that bought or how much they bought. And therefore your, your, your custom audiences on Facebook will contain everybody if they bought or not. So you retarget people with the same ad, no matter which step they left on uh, off instead of ha having the chance to really like, uh, again, people that leave your squeeze page. Oh, you forgot your free report. Don't you want to know how? Yeah. Like, um, Stuff like that. People that went to the sales page, while well, you retarget them like with, with the same way you would retarget them via email by by simply like not showing them one ad for, for forever, but like a couple of ads, one each day or one for a couple of days, switching to the next ad with the benefits of, of like, or, or you know, like the pain points and the benefits that, that your product re, uh, solves or relieves. Yeah. And yeah, and from there, people who bought, you maybe would even show a retargeting ad congratulating them on their purchase. What a great decision it was. Yeah, so you reduce your refunds and stuff like that. You, you, I'm sure there is a technical way, yeah, but let's say the average user out there is not able to do that with affiliate promotions. And again, affiliate marketing means you are in a red ocean competing with everybody else. The better the affiliate program, the more affiliates will dare to be uh, to promote it. And again, ClickFunnels is a great example. Like look into the ClickFunnels Adventures group or in the regular ClickFunnels group, create a post there. I'm, I'm considering signing up for the One Funnel Away Challenge, who offers what, and you will see how many people like comment below or even send you direct messages violating the group roles just to make another sale. And um, that's only the people that are actually in the group. How many affiliates do you think are out there that, are, that don't bother to spend their time in the group, but just focus on getting work done? Yeah. So, um, really like if you think about joining any affiliate marketing, um, still like take the time to think about what it is that you can offer. There is something that you can offer. Yeah. Like even I, although I don't have any great skills outside of it, even I managed to come up with some things that I can offer, like a course about how to automate processes. Probably there's going to be a course about chatbots. There's going to be a course about how to set up, I don't know, your YouTube channel and, and, and push it properly. Like what you need to take care of. Maybe there's a general publishing course where I show podcasts, YouTube 
and uh, Facebook lives and which tools to use and how to set them up. Yeah. So even I can do that. And then again, if it's a paid course at some point of my value that I could, I, I can simply throw in a funnel that says how I make money with all of this um, on autopilot and how you can do too. And all I would have to do is like allow people to copy my whole funnels, even with the videos, with my course material and um, simply, simply basically have them run paid ads and I will still earn second level commission. Yeah. And second level commission will be something that disappears for new accounts in a couple of weeks. So, so that may, may uh, only apply to those of you who watch this in like, July 2019 any, uh, and after that it may not apply anymore for ClickFunnels but still like you see there is like a huge upside on creating your own offer it may be hard but it has its its benefits and no matter what it is you're offering no matter if you're like a vocal coach if you're selling some nutrition stuff if you're selling CBD whatever it is in the end once funnels help you to sell that stuff you can build a simple funnel that that shows people how you do that on autopilot and Get them into the one funnel away challenge get them to get their click funnels accounts and you will build your passive income on, on top of everything and if you set up all your automations properly to manage like your email list you can basically everybody who doesn't go to the one funnel away challenge everybody who doesn't sign up for click funnels after a certain amount of like emails from your site and ads for your site that promote that they should do it um you can simply put them into a specific email list that's for people that for some reason didn't take you up on the offer and keep promoting your products to them. And for everybody who signed up, you put them on another email list that simply like then helps them get started with ClickFunnels because you want to obviously make sure that they keep paying their ClickFunnels account so you keep getting the, the commission. And you could even set up another email list. So like basically using some automations that as soon as they stop paying their ClickFunnels account, A, you try to reach out and help them and ask them like why and to help them get back and B, um, simply get them back on promoting the product to them. They bought it before, probably they're gonna buy, buy it after that as well. Just ClickFunnels didn't work out for them or, or being uh, an entrepreneur didn't work out for them. Yeah. So um, that's pretty much it for today. Sorry for the long video, but I, I really wanna make sure, I wanted to make sure that I cover all of that to hopefully reach a few of you that are currently, yeah, I'm gonna promote ClickFunnels within the One Funnel Way Challenge um, to, see, to see reason as to why you should like focus on your own offer and look at the ClickFunnels possibility uh, only in, in like one of your later uh, steps of the value ladder, basically in your backend marketing. Uh, yeah, that's it. Leave your comments below. Um, if you need help figuring out like what, what to create your offer about, like how to create your offer or anything about that, um, just, you know, like ask within my Facebook group or book a free consultation with me. Yeah, um, First step would still be consult within the Facebook group. There are other entrepreneurs that may provide you or will provide you with feedback and help. So thanks for watching and or listening again. I'm really sorry that this episode got so long, but yeah, um, good thing like takes good things take time and talk to you tomorrow with episode number, I think 84 or something like that. So till then, bye bye.